Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Thank you so much for joining me. We have an hour together for chair yoga. Half of which is going to be in the chair and half of which is going to be on the floor. And today's focus for class is trusting and starting to open up and listen to yourself. So although I'm going to be guiding you, everything I offer is just that, it's an invitation. It's up to you to listen to yourself and try and figure out whether it works with your body, if you need to adjust or adapt anything, and listen to how many repetitions or if you need to rest. So we start to connect deeply to that wisdom within. Our world around us tells us so much of the time to look outside of ourselves for solutions. And this class is about looking inwards. It's about starting to build that trust that we have that wisdom within us, that discernment to choose what's best for us. So, making sure the chair you're on is stable and comfortable. And if you want to sit into the back of your chair, please do use that support. Again, trust. If that feels best for you, then that's what you do. If you want to slide away from the back of your chair, holding yourself upright, if that feels better for you, then do that too. And you can come backwards and forwards, of course, at any time. Feet are a comfortable distance for you, and that doesn't mean it's gonna be the same for any two people. So what's comfortable for me may be very different from what's comfortable in you, for you in your body. It's all these little choices that we take along the way. If we pause and really make a choice, rather than just doing what we did yesterday and what we always do, then it's in those little choices that we get a pause and a moment to check in with ourselves and really decide what feels best for us. Rooting down through the feet. Whether you've got shoes, socks on, it does not matter. Pick up through the toes. Spread the toes really nice and wide. Stay there, we'll pick up the balls of the feet and if there's any wiggling or movement you wanna to do to lengthen into the soles of the feet, please do. And with that connection into the soles of the feet, we'll take the balls of the feet down and drift the toes down as soft as snowflakes. Send your awareness all the way down to the soles of your feet. Always knowing you can make any adjustments or movements as you see fit. Notice the texture underneath the soles of your feet, whether it's your socks, whether it's a mat or the floor. What do you notice about it and how do you notice that? Imagine it, sense it, feel it. And then slide your awareness up from the soles of your feet right into your seat, where your seat meets the chair. You can wiggle from side to side if you want to, to awaken that your awareness to that connection downwards. And then take a breath in when you're ready. On an exhale, consider dropping the upper body weight down into the support of the chair softening any tension and tightness that you detect. And then we notice, just like the feet, we notice that connection underneath us, maybe the texture of the chair, the softness, or the harder edges. Notice how you are aware of that. And then with our feet and seat rooted down, Everything from the pelvis down is connected down towards the earth and drawing downwards. We use that as a gentle push down to lift up through the spinal column, through the torso, heart lifting, 
moving up through to the base of the skull, the crown of the head reaches towards the ceiling, so we become just a millimeter taller. Rolling the shoulders back and down a few times, and maybe this is the first time today, or maybe you've done this more than once. When it feels good to you, roll the shoulders down and leave them there. Shoulders more or less over the hips. A little tuck of that chin as we lengthen through the back of the neck. And for a lot of this, leaning back so the head is more or less over that heart space. Hands supported or dangling wherever they're comfortable. We'll take a breath in as you notice this shape. And on an exhale, give yourself permission to adjust the shape. Take another few breaths as you move and adapt. So we're still rooting to rise, but it's in your own way, working with your body, not against it. As we sit here, we go inwards. Softening the gaze, closing the eyes is one of the best ways to get that internal focus, turning off the rest of the world. Take your awareness into a place that feels like a deep part of you and it doesn't have to make sense. It might be a location in your body, it might be a feeling taking your awareness into one of the deepest parts of you as best as you can, and you can simply choose a place. Focus inwards. And notice this moment in time for you. Ask yourself, how am I doing today? Resisting nothing, let it all come, whatever that may be. Notice what's on your mind today. And there may be a million things, there may be one thing or nothing in particular. What is on my mind today? Dropping your awareness from the mind right into the heart space and notice feelings and emotions that are present. Noticing how your body feels today. And as we pay attention to our body, normally our awareness goes to the loudest place. The place with the most story or current story. See if we can step away from those stories and just notice sensation. Make sure that you're focusing also on the quieter sensations, the sensations that feel just fine. So if your right knee is loud today, how does your left knee feel? What we focus on, we feel. What we focus on gets bigger in our awareness. So if we're always focusing on the tightness or the discomfort, that is what will get bigger in our awareness. And we acknowledge that, but we also notice the rest, so we get a more balanced view. Notice any tightness and tension, and see if you can intuitively ease any of that, either with a few breaths, with any movement or adjustments. You might notice the energy level that you have today without the story as to why, just noticing. Notice yourself as a whole. The 
we start to notice the breath, becoming aware of the breath, coming in and out gently, maybe breathing in and out through the nose if that feels comfortable to you. If it doesn't, choose another easier breath for you. And I always encourage in and out through the nose if we can, if it feels okay for us. Because the nostrils are smaller than the mouth, it actually slows the breath. We slow the breath, we regulate the nervous system. But again, only if it feels good to you. And we start to slow the breath by deepening the inhale and lengthening the exhale. Smoothing that out once you've found a new rhythm. Steadying the inhale all the way to the top, smoothing the exhale all the way down to the bottom. Releasing any tightness or tension that may be present in the breath, so no forcing, no straining. And I'm going to offer you a mantra here. A mantra is simply a sound. And the direct translation is a mind tool or a tool for the mind from Sanskrit, and that means that we give the mind something to do, and then it's not zooming off in all different areas as the mind likes to do, the nature of the mind. So the sound, the mantra I offer you is on the inhale, so, S-O, so, hum on the exhale, H-U-M, so, hum. So hum. And we silently repeat the mantra inwardly for the entire inhale. So to the top of the inhale and hum to the bottom of the exhale. This mantra, so hum, translated means I am. So we're starting again in another layer to connect to yourself and your inner self rather than looking outside of ourself or something. So hum. And if there's another mantra you want, or you can simply count one, inhale, um, two, exhale, come back to one, two, if it's easier for you, you can go ahead and do that. And you can even repeat to yourself silently, inhale and exhale whatever works for you. And again, this is a tool for the mind. You get to choose what feels best for you. I'm gonna keep reminding you to come back to that so hum breath or your own mantra. So we're gonna root down through the feet. We're gonna root down through the seat and from there, once again, lift and rise. Shoulders broaden as we settle them down. We're drawing the shoulders over the hips, more or less, head over the heart, more or less. And then softening into that in your own way. From here, this is the inhale, so hum. This is the so and the hum. We're gonna take those, that gaze towards the right, keeping the left shoulder back. Inhale, so to center, and exhale to the opposite side. So hum. Keeping the chin at the angle that feels good for you. So play around here. If the dropping the chin a little lower feels good, go ahead. A little higher, you get to play around here. There's no wrong way of doing this. There's only your way. Next time we come to the right option to stay, keeping those collarbones broad, draw the chin down as if you're just glancing over that right shoulder. And we breathe so hum breath. The option here is to dangle that left arm down. If it's not already, dropping the left shoulder even more as we bring that attention to the left side of the neck. So hum. One of your next inhales will take the hand back to support. 
Lift the chin and draw back to center and gaze over to the left this time. Option to stay, option to drop the chin. Glancing over that left shoulder, so home with the breath. The last add-on is dangling that right arm down, dropping the right shoulder, bringing it back in space. And stillness or movement, you get to choose here. So hum breath. On the next inhale, we'll take that right hand back to support and the chin comes up and coming back through center. Dangling that right hand down nice and soft. So hum breath, steady breath, steady movement as we circle the shoulder, inhaling up, exhaling down and round, whichever direction you're going in. So hum. Keep the eyes soft, lowered or closed to get that inward focus and you get to adjust the movement to suit you. If you want to do less repetitions, every other one, if that movement doesn't have to be quite so big or you have that capacity to allow those circles to get bigger. At the end of the exhale, we'll pause and then take those circles around in the opposite direction. Noticing where you feel that in your body. And if there's anything you need to do to change the movement to suit you better. Let's take another couple unless you're resting so hum. controlled fluid movements as best as we can and we'll come all the way back to center right hand in a tight or soft fist circling through the wrist so hum notice the ease there as well as any tight spots and we'll take that round in the opposite direction when you're ready And then when you are done, we'll wiggle those fingers and thumbs, take that right hand back to support, left hand dangles. Broaden through the collarbones, so hum breath, and then we add the movement. So the shoulder comes up and hum down and round. Notice where you experience this. Mm -hmm. Notice where you feel it in your body, adjusting things, giving yourself permission for what you need. At the end of the next exhale, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. the breath flowing, the movement, smooth and steady. And then the next exhale, when you feel ready, we'll come back through center, left hand in a tight or soft fist, and we'll circle through that wrist. So hum. Coming back to listening to your body. Adjusting as you need, let's pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Giving yourself permission to make the choices for you. Rather than feeling there's a right or wrong way to do things. And then after that, we'll wiggle those fingers and thumbs, take the hands back to support. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. And then we're going to take those hands in towards heart center. This is the exhale. On the inhale, we're just going to draw those arms apart, draw the shoulder blades towards each other, and exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhaling and exhaling. We so hum. Soft eyes, lowered eyes, or closed eyes. 
Notice which part of your palm or your fingers connect first and last. Great place to stay right here. Next time we bring those hands in towards each other. That's the exhale, another movement on the inhale. I'm gonna take those hands above you, bent to elbows, fingers rise, or we can reach a little further on that exhale, hands come back down to heart center. And you can take those hands as low as feels good, keeping those heels of the hands connected. Inhaling and exhaling. If you wanna take the gaze with you, inhale, Lifts the chin, exhale, we can draw the chin down, following the motion. Last one, and we'll put those two together. Hands in front of the heart. On the inhale, we're going to take them wide. So hum, the palms reach back together. So we lift up, hum, we draw down. Every hum, we're bringing back hands to heart center. So, hum. So, hum. And continue with the movement. Going inwards and deciding how high does it feel good for your fingers to go. Are you reaching past what is comfortable in your body? Does that feel good to you? Or do you need to adjust things? Is your inner dialogue telling you it has to be a certain way? Can you give yourself permission to play and do it your way? One more full movement here. Going at your own pace, trusting your own inner wisdom. And the next time that those hands come down towards the heart, we're gonna take them back down to support on the legs or the arms of the chair. And any intuitive movement you need to release tension, go ahead. Rooting down through the feet and the seat to rise from there. Coming into seated cat and cow, so on the inhale, the shoulder blades snuggle towards each other as we arch the back, flaring the front ribs. On the exhale, pushing the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair as we round. So we've got extension of the spine and flexion of the spine. Option to lift the, chain, the chin on the inhale, lengthening through the back of the neck. Exhale, we're drawing the chin down towards the chest. You can allow those shoulders to draw back behind you on that inhale as much as feels comfortable and exhale. Widen across the back of the top of the shoulders as we push the fingertips forward. Use your feet if you want on that exhale. Push the feet down into the earth and then we're really focusing on that lumbar spine. And then once you have the movement, you get to choose what feels good to you. Keep the breath flowing, so hum on the breath. And if you want to add on, on the inhale, let's take the arms wide. On the exhale, elbows and pinkies towards each other. So the palms are in and we're going to curl in like a little ball. Inhaling, spread wide. Exhaling, curling in, so hum. And once you're here, decide what feels best in your body. Notice all of it. Notice the challenge, notice the ease. If there's any adjustments you need to make or you want to rest, please do. You do want to take the arms down and only that flexion and extension through the spine, then go ahead. Let's take two more here, all rest. So hum. After that last hum, whenever you're ready, we'll come all the way back through 
center and adjusting yourself so it feels good for you. Now link those thumbs and take the hands over the heart space. Lifting the sternum to meet the palms of the hands with that rooting to rise. This is the inhale, so on the exhale. I'm going to tilt over towards the right side, making sure that left hip stays anchored to the chair. Inhaling up and then we're coming to the other side. So hum. Notice how that feels for you. Shoulders are more or less over the hips, so we're not coming forward in space. And then you get to decide how it suits you in your body. Let's take one more either side, unless you're resting. Coming all the way back, up through center, and releasing the hands. I'm going to take those feet a little bit wider. Coming back on your chair if you need more support, or keeping the feet wide and broad, ankles more or less under those knees, rooting to rise. Notice if you need to make any adjustments here. And I'm going to take this all the way down through the feet. So first of all, we're going to stay all the way down. So that left foot roots down, left leg and the torso rises. On the right side, push into the ball of the foot on the inhale. We're going to lift the heel, exhale, taking the heel down. What we want is not necessarily the height of the heel, we want the slowness of the movement. So that flow, so hum. Mm -hmm. Nice, the control. Beautiful, let's take that right heel down and come to the left side, inhaling the left heel lifts, exhaling, taking it down. And again, this is not about height, what we're looking for here is control. And of course, we're getting into the joints of the feet and the ankle, but we're really um, putting a lot of control on the muscles. And you might feel certain areas in your body that feel a little more shaky as the muscles get tired or unused muscles are told to be activated. Last one here. And taking that heel down in your own time and then adjusting. From here on an inhale, we're going to lift both heels up. Exhaling, coming down slowly. Mm -hmm. So hum. Let the heels be an expression of the breath. Notice as the heels come down, if one is coming down before the other one, if you want to add arms, we're going to sweep those arms behind and by the hips. On the inhale, sweeping the arms wide and high, maybe the hands come towards each other. On the exhale, we're going to take those arms down, lifting. The gaze can come up if you wish, exhaling, settling down, so hum. Maybe coming all the way up to those tippy toes or staying on the balls of the feet as we roll through the feet. Exhaling down. Let's take two more here. Mm -hmm, last one. Beautifully done. Hands coming down onto the thighs, making any adjustments that you need to. Rooting down through that left side and through your torso. Pick up the right toes or even the ball of the foot if you wish. On the inhale, we've got that wide external rotation. Exhale, we're drawing the knee in and down. So here we're getting that lubrication through that right hip, keeping everything else still and stable. 
the right hand helps you guide and smooth the movement, please leave it there. Otherwise, allowing the leg to do its own work, never pushing past the breath. So, hum. Always giving yourself permission to do something that suits your body and works with it in harmony more. Never working against the body. After that last exhale, I'm going to take the knee out. And if the foot was lifted, we'll take it down, readjusting, coming to the other side. Hand towards or on that left knee, toes lifted, ball of the foot lifted. Inhale wide, exhale, we're drawing it down and in. Mm -hmm. If you need that hand, then fantastic. If it smooths the movement, if you don't, then that's great too. You get to choose. Notice where you feel this in your body. Stay connected to that so hum breath. Give yourself full permission to adjust the movement to suit you. Let's take another two more. Right leg and your seat and torso are stable and still. After your last exhale, we'll come all the way back to that external rotation. Make adjustments if you need to. Fingertips coming to the inside of the thighs and here we are supported. From here, we're gonna be revolving those lower ribs round as if we're hula hooping them. So the inhale, round and forward. The exhale, round and back. And as you get into that movement, so hum. And there's no wrong way to do this. So closing the eyes, softening the gaze or lowering the gaze is a great way to tune out the rest of the world and go inwards and notice how does my body wish to move here? Mm -hmm. Allowing it to do its thing. Getting the shoulders, the head, the neck involved, the hips, the feet. What are you noticing about this movement? How can you adjust to make it more fluid for you? At the end of one of your next exhales, we'll pause and then take it round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Ease yourself into it. Be gentle with that inner dialogue. No judgment, just a curiosity. Mm. This bit feels really easy. That bit's a little bit more challenging. If I adjust this, then it feels smoother. Let's take another one or two. And then when you're ready at the end of an exhale, we'll come back through center, rooting to rise and take those knees back to parallel, washing the knees side to side. Knees and ankles in towards each other. We'll take that right hand towards the left thigh, outer thigh or down towards the knee. The left hand can come beside the chair, depending on the kind of chair you are on and the range of motion, maybe it comes back behind you. Rooting to rise, and then on an exhale, twisting to the left and staying. Every inhale, we soften and lengthen. Every exhale, we um, take the twist that feels good to us. You can take that gaze over that left shoulder if you want to. More or less, let's stay for one more breath. And we release the hands after the exhale, coming all the way back through center, coming to the other side. Left hand towards or on that right thigh, outside or towards the knee. Right hand coming beside you or back behind you, we root to rise. And on the exhale, twist into the right this time. That gaze can come over the right shoulder. Keep the breath, that so hum breath, always informing the movement. 
There's always a slight, gentle movement here. Let's stay to the last exhale. And then we release and come all the way back through center. Feet come back to neutral. Take a breath in. Exhaling it out. Beautiful job. Hello, here we are again. And we're gonna come all the way to our back, gathering the knees towards the sky, feet towards the floor. Feet are around about a hip distance. And once you feel settled on your back, picking up the hips, shifting them towards the heels a little and placing the pelvis down, that way we lengthen through the spine. One shoulder blade and another softly underneath you, so the shoulders settle and the heart is open. The equivalent from rooting to rise when we're on the earth. Notice the support underneath you and allow your body to sink a little deeper into that support. Close the eyes, soften the gaze. And we come back to that longer, smoother, softer breath in and out with the connection of the so hum. So hum. Settle the breath and find that natural rhythm. Your rhythm, your length, there's no wrong way to breathe. And we can always come back to this breath at any time. Let's take that right knee in towards us. Give ourselves a little hug. And then let's rotate the ankle nice and slowly. So hum. Always adjusting things. Always noticing, aware of what comes up. End of that exhale, we'll pause and take it around in the opposite direction. Coming back through center, big breath in, exhale it out, keeping a nice flex in that um, right ankle, we're going to keep that knee tucked in and lengthen that left leg along the floor, so we're getting this opening through the groin, through that left hip flexor and up through and across the back body on that right side, and we breathe up and asin. Again, the shoulders settling down towards the earth so we're not lifting them and straining. Keep that breath steady. From here, drawing the belly button down towards the earth so that lower back is really connected downwards. Option to stay here, both feet are flexed here. And that left leg is pushing down to the earth so it is connected, it's not just hanging out there, pushing down all the way through the heel. And we breathe, so hum. Now the option from here is to hover that left heel about five centimeters off the floor. Making sure that the breath can stay, that consistent so hum breath. Belly button is drawn down into the earth. And we're pushing through that left heel, lengthening through the leg as that right knee is drawing up. Great place to stay. Any head and neck tightness, throat tightness, anything like that, this is where you're staying. Shoulders soften, jaw is relaxed, so hum breath. If that's not part, if, you, if you're fine in your neck and your throat, then we add on if you wish. You get to choose. So this is the inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna curl that nose up towards the knee and coming back down. Mm -hmm. Exhaling, the nose comes in towards the knee. That's the hum. Inhaling, lengthening. That may be enough. If that feels good to you, then stay. If you want to draw the nose in towards the knee and stay there, then fantastic. Soften through the jaw, soften the muscles of the face. 
close the eyes if that feels comfortable and the last add on here if you can release the hands keep the same shape send the fingertips either side of your hips hovering off the earth and here we are three breaths so hum we've got a lot of core connection here so hum on that last breath gathering the hands back to the front shin head and neck come down bend the left knee take the knee to the sky foot to the floor and then we release the right leg take a breath exhaling connecting back to the earth letting your body soften and melt down into the support of gravity and the solidness underneath us staying there and then drawing that left knee in towards you now we've got compression where we had length in that left hip flexor give yourself a little hug and we circle through the ankles so hum here nice and slow And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Eyes soft, lowered or closed. And then we'll take a flex in that ankle. Same thing other side here. So there's lots of bus stops along the way. Keeping that leg hugged in either from the thigh, behind the knee pit or in front of that shin. Soften the shoulders so we really are connected downwards. And then the option is here to extend that right leg long. Flex in both ankles and the whole back of that right side is connected down to the earth all the way through the heel. And that left knee is drawing up towards the chest. We've got this openness through the top of the right thigh and we're of course lengthening along the back of that left side and we're breathing so hum any tension that's gathering see if you can soften that draw the belly button down towards the spine so we're imprinting the back body onto the mat and the option here is to hover the right heel just above the mat keeping that belly drawn in and down and we breathe this is too much please take that right foot down same thing the other side if it feels okay to you please check in with yourself this is the inhale on the exhale curl the head and the shoulders up as we draw the nose in towards the knee and inhale back to the earth exhale is that drawing in option to stay here lifting and lowering option to draw the nose in towards the knee and stay keep the breath flowing so hum starting to lighten those hands now if you need the connection there keep it there soften through the shoulders the throat the jaw option last one release the hands take them hovered off the earth either side of your hips fingertips reaching towards the bottom of your mat three breaths so hum keep the breath consistent and steady we've got the last breath here on that exhale we gather the hands back towards the left knee and then we bend the right knee, take the foot to the floor as the head comes down, if it was lifted, taking that left foot down. Heels wide, knees towards each other, constructive rest, big breath in. Exhale it out, soft and low. Just settle yourself back into the support of the earth here. And then we're just going to grab our knees in, give ourselves a little hug and massage the lower back as we rock and roll side to side. Mm -hmm. From here, sending the feet up towards the sky. Nice bend in those joints so we're not straining. 
And then we're going to cross that right leg right up by the groin over the left thigh. So we've got this cross and it's happening right up by the groin. From here, bending the knees. Now this might feel awkward, you might already be feeling that right hip. Hands on those knees and we're drawing the knees down and towards the chest. Great place to be here to get that um, sensation in the right hip joint. The option is to walk those fingers down the opposite shin towards the ankles and depending on the length of your bones, taking those ankles wide and drawing the ankles out and down. This is quite intense in that right and left hip. Please only go as far as it feels good in your body. And we breathe. Mm -hmm. Notice how this feels. Staying for another couple of breaths here. And then we'll release. Send the legs up towards the sky. We've still got that crisscross. I'm going to uncross. This time the left thigh over the top of the right. So it's crossed right at the top of the thigh. I'm going to bend those knees and draw the knees down into the chest. Hands come wherever they're comfortable. And the same option as last time. Hands drawing the knees down and towards the chest. There's a whole lot of compression there. We're getting into that left hip. Option is to send the hands along the shins, the ankles, maybe even reaching towards those outer feet, depending on how it feels in your body. And we're breathing. The hands drawing down, breathing into sensation in your body. Noticing your breath, that so hum breath. Staying for another few breaths, releasing any tension in the jaw, the throat, the face. And then when you're ready, releasing, sending the legs up towards the sky, uncrossing, and then the feet come down to the earth. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor, shifting the hips up and over to the right side. Left leg goes long, and we reach the right knee up and over to the left, keeping that right shoulder anchored. You can take any support underneath the lower right leg and knee. And we breathe, play here with how high or how low that right knee likes to come. You can stay in movement or stillness, what twist suits you, and if there's another twist you prefer, then take that too. And we breathe, so hum breaths. You can take a gaze over that right shoulder if that feels good in your body, in your cervical spine. When you're ready, the gaze comes to center. If it wasn't there already, that right knee draws up as the right side of the body grounds, right foot to the floor. Left foot joins it, and we shift the hips up and over to the left this time. Extending that right leg long. Left knee up and over to the right as that left shoulder stays grounded. This side may feel very different, but you've got that same opportunity to play. Does movement feel better or stillness? And we breathe. Staying there for as long as you like, or when you're ready, gaze comes to center, left knee comes up, 
foot to the floor, right leg joins it, and shifting the hips back through center. Let's take one more movement here. The knees draw in and let's circle through the knees. So they come up towards the chest and out, down and together and up through the center line of the body. And then we'll take them around in the opposite direction. Any other movement that suits you, please go ahead. So hum. Give yourself a little hug as we come to stillness. And from here, feet down to the earth. You can widen the ankles, settle the knees in towards that little tent, and we have constructive rest. From here, you get to choose where it suits you to come to your relaxation. Please make adjustments, add layers, eye pillows, any support or props underneath your body to feel fully supported. And then we take the time to make all those tweaks. So we honor what feels comfortable in our body. And remember, relaxation can be on your side, on your belly, you can stay seated, you can be in a reclined chair, where you feel the most comfortable. The more comfortable we are in our body, the less distracted we are in the mind. So once you're in your chosen space, take a breath in, and on the exhale, if you haven't already, soften your gaze or close your eyes. And we send our awareness out with our hearing to the outside world as far as we can reach and maybe it's traffic or weather sounds people sounds starting to notice all the sounds as we start to gather our awareness a little closer into the room you're in you might notice house sounds appliance sounds pet sounds and then we gather our awareness in once more and we start to notice the sounds of our souls breathing. You might notice some movement, some gurgling in the body. Notice the breath as it comes in and out and the sound of the breath. And melt the breath into a place of no control so it's breathing for you as the breath gets smaller in its own rhythm and add to that gentle rhythm on the inhale melt the sound so on the exhale hum notice how the sound so hum mimics the sound of that soft breath coming in and out. Every exhale, every hum, allow your body to sink a little deeper into the support underneath you. Letting go of tightness, tension, discomfort, one breath at a time. Allowing the muscles of your face to soften as the expression on your face becomes neutral. Parting your back teeth so your jaw is soft. Allowing the weight of your head to be supported by the surface underneath it. Shoulders start to unwind. But your arms can fully rest as the muscles loosen and lengthen. The joints feel more spacious all the way down to the tips of your fingers and thumbs. 
we allow our spine from the base of the skull all the way down through our torso, down to the tailbone, allowing it to rest and decompress. Allowing the inner torso to release tension and tightness. So hum soft breaths in and out. Allowing the pelvis to connect downwards. To unfurl and unwind. And allow that softness to ripple down through the upper legs and knees, relaxing the hips, all the way down to the ankles, heels, feet, all the way through to the tips of the toes. Invite in softness. And notice a sense of peacefulness starting to settle into your whole being. And if the mind is worrying, follow the breath in and out. So hum. So hum. Melting with the sound of the breath itself. So hum. Stay here for as long as you like, and if you wish to stay longer, please tune my words out so they wash over you. Stay in that place of calm and tranquility for as long as feels good to you. Trusting and listening to yourself, honoring what it is that you're inner self is telling you. Staying exactly as you are and sending your awareness down to that deepest inner part. And you can choose a place, maybe it's the same as the beginning of class, maybe it's shifted. It doesn't have to make sense. And you notice that inner center Starting to notice how you're doing. Notice your mind. Notice feelings and emotions. Notice your body. Everything now after your practice. Notice yourself as a whole. And start to be aware of those so hum breaths. Starting to increase that inhale, the so, just a little deeper. Hum, out through the mouth, if that suits you, or keep a breath that feels good to you. With those so, we increase the energy levels in our body with that hum, we let that energy settle down and settle in, and so it's ours to keep. Allowing those awakening breaths to start to awaken movement in your body and allay 
easy, slow, intuitive way. Maybe ankles and wrists, fingers and toes start to move, maybe gliding that head from side to side suits you. This could expand into a stretch, wide or long, or awaken in you any other movement that feels good for you. If you're on your back, you might want to draw your knees in, maybe wash them from side to side or give them a hug. Explore and listen with those inner ears. What does your body want to happen next? Maybe rolling to one side or another or coming to a shape that suits you today to finish your practice that may be exactly as you are. There's no wrong way to finish. As you make your way or commit to the shape that you're in, we settle down feeling once again the surfaces underneath us, opening up that heart space as your hands come to any gesture at all that suits you today. Wherever you are, let's take a breath in. On the exhale, softening the chin down towards the heart space and take a moment here Go inwards to that inner center. Awaken those inner ears. So as you move through your day and your week ahead, give yourself those pauses to listen to what it is that suits you. There's no wrong way to do any of this, to do life. Moving from that place inside of you that informs you what feels best for you. From my heart to yours, thank you for joining me. Namaste.